scarf, all important with these bitterly cold temperatures. But for those who have to work out in the elements, staying warm is so important. Terry Taylor has been a letter carrier for seven years and knows when the temperatures are this cold, it's time to layer. So we have a lot of uh, things going on with our uniform to you know, be comfortable out here under the conditions. We have to work outdoors, so we're used to it. Taylor's route is downtown, which means he can take brief breaks from the cold while delivering mail to businesses. But he knows cold, wet feet can make for a miserable day. These are actually overshoes. They're overshoes. So I have my boot on inside this, and this protects my foot. It's uh, waterproof and it's insulated. But if these proper precautions aren't followed, serious medical issues can occur. Dr. Rob Hunter has seen many slips and falls at the Grandview Hospital ER, but cautions those outside during the bitter cold. And if they get out there and start to become really cold, start not to be able to feel you know, fingers, they start to get nauseated. Something like that are first signs of hypothermia. For Taylor, who has to spend at least six hours in the elements, is avoiding hypothermia by layering up. But he's asking for a little help to make his job in the bitter cold.